Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rat here from Radku Tarot and this is going to be Capricorn Sun, Capricorn Moon and Capricorn Rising weekly tarot and Lenormand reading for September 3rd to September 9th 2018. So while I'm shuffling the cards, just to remind you in case you want a, or you know should you go for a personal reading with me, um, everything that you need to know how to do it, it's uh, my website which is written down below in the description of this video and at my website you are going to find uh, the full list of my services as well with uh, the pricings for them. So as I finish shuffle, let's cut and let's go for the tarot reading first. Now the first card or the first position here will be about the topic for you Capricorns for the week followed by the core of the situation then the third card it's about the challenges things that you have to overcome things that you will struggle against and the last one is the guidance card uh, which pretty much guides you how to make the most out of the week so let's see what you got here now the first card is going to be the tree of swords now not very good start for what it seems now the tree of swords it's a card you know most of the books are speaking of it it's kind of like a card of uh, suffering you know you will see a keyword like a torment as well pain etc etc topic of the week now the tree of swords doesn't necessarily has to be very negative it depends on your personal situation sometimes the tree of swords manifest as a uh, emotional healing especially if you're feeling very uh, very bad emotionally that card could speak for a um, resignation of those emotions you know you accept what happened and you are ready to proceed forward the tree of swords points that this week you will have to swallow a certain truth that came to you or it is about to come at your knowledge and it's the truth is truth I mean there is nothing you can do about it so uh, the sooner you are accepted and you are resigned about it the better because the tree of swords in case it's about suffering in case it's about pain emotional uh, first thing is that the cause of that pain is because you are overthinking it now the swords are about logic are about thoughts and if you observe the cards the swords are piercing the heart so through your mind or through what you think it is what making it is what makes you hurt so that's why you should not allow those negative thoughts to twist and tangle through your mind because it is likely that you're going to find yourself lost if you allow those thoughts to do so so it will be highly advisable just looking at that card here this week for you to spend it a little bit more lightly you know um, involve yourself more into a pleasant activities with your friends for example if you like let's say to watch tv shows just you know do more of that as well if you like to play video games do more of that as well you know just you should not feel yourself obliged to contribute into those kind of activities which reminds you on the poignant truth or experience that you recently had and through that kind of an approach of the week it is likely that you will be able to kind of heal yourself from whatever negative thoughts or emotions you are experiencing at this very moment or a uh, moment or fears as well so uh, let's see what will be the cause of it here now the justice card huh very interesting so justice card could manifest in either decision or it's it's always about a decision when it comes to the justice card it's about the balance it is about the justice system but not the legal justice system sometimes it may affect it you know the legal justice system but it speaks for the natural order for the world order for the universal order should i say that way so uh, when the justice card uh, when the justice card comes up it means that the very reason of you finding about that truth is because you sorted your things out so you have finally arranged your priorities or your things you are not scattered anymore and through that spring cleaning should i say that way hey, bang something pop up and you don't like it 
So what you can do here, having those couple of cards, is whatever decision you take against what you are about to learn, you have to be accountable toward one's, toward oneself foremost and then toward the situation and afterwards toward others. This is very important about the justice card that the accountability needs to come toward oneself first and foremost. And uh, this card also as a core of the situation asks you to realize that um, you could have not done anything about it, you know, because the justice card always serves everybody what they deserve. And also there is some sort of a karma attached to it, you know, because usually the events that follows up the justice card, they are kind of unav unavoidable. So uh, let's say that you can find peace into that. And as I said, as soon as you kind of resign about that situation, you accept it, you know, and you stop thinking about it, the better because you are going to heal yourself entirely. Now this isn't about, this is not probably concerning material comfort here, this isn't about money. Most likely it is a, about some sort of a lie, you know, <clears throat> or a hidden truth, or it could be as well, uh, for the lack of better term, delusion, that you thought something and it turned out to be something else as well. So you have to be very careful where you're placing your, your hopes at. Then let's see what the challenges are about to here. Uh, four of Swords, so it will be challenging for you to calm yourself down. That's obvious with the Four of Swords, as the Four of Swords is about rest. It's about mental peace, you know, the peace of one's mind, and a, a th thorough and correct deliberation upon the situation. And as uh, in the monthly video videos, I kind of gave example of my very good friend Capricorn. That comes to my mind as well because when my friend Capricorn tends to be uh, agitated, it's oh my god, it's kind of like my friend cannot stop asking about it, cannot stop typing about it, cannot stop talking about it. You know, when only thing that my friend needs to do is just shut up. It's, it's the only thing that they need to do. So uh, pretty much that will be the challenge, you know, to calm yourself down, to find peace and as well to have more clamorous thoughts. That is also a mandatory when we do have the Four of Swords. Best possible course of action when we have the, core of the Four of Swords here as a challenging position is to find a, a faithful companion of yours with which you can deliberate upon your worries, you know, upon whatever you have found out to be true, or upon your pain as well, where that pain comes from. Why, uh, since you have reprioritized, you know, your life and you arrange your priorities, uh, these things are start popping up. And just to give you an example, let's say that you are married, okay? Let's say that until this now, uh, until this very moment, you know, your marriage is kind of okay-ish, but it isn't great. Which marriage is great? And you know, everybody has problems, but now as you have rearranged your priorities, either you have placed your marriage on a, an upper place or a, a lower place, you know, that kind of dislikes to your partner, they outburst and they tell you certain things. That could be the version of manifestation of those cards. You know, because even if you place your marriage on a higher place, that, that instantly speaks for spending more time with your partner and maybe they are not used to it, you know, maybe they want to be more time on, your, on their own, drinking with friends, going and playing soccer, for example, watching football and now they have to spend that time with you, which they haven't been used to and, you know, some conflicts may arise. So that is one way of uh, mani manifesting it could be different, the very worst case scenario here in case you are in a relationship, this is about you realizing that you have been cheated, so you are realizing of an affair, you know, reprioritizing your schedule here, coming early from work and bang, you are kind of like catching your partner with talking or being with someone else. That could be another manifestation. Um, um, instead of being frantic about it, it will be good to deliberate it with somebody um, around yourself, 
someone who is a, a faithful companion of yours. Yeah, and the best course of action here says the same thing. It is best to remain silent. Now, the uh, High Priestess as an action, it always means remain silent until you have the full grasp upon the situation, until you understand it completely and fully. Restrict yourself from making any actions unless those actions which are accountable towards yourself first and foremost. Allow your intuition to guide you through that. Kind of like a, a week of revelations. I cannot say that even this is going to be a bad week, you know, because um, this is a, a sentence from the, uh, I believe, the Theory of Chaos, the book, and it says, if the truth is making you free, then what the denial of it or the ignorance to see it makes you, you know. So whatever that, whatever you find out in this week, uh, Capricorns, at least you are going to be free at the end. You are going to find a certain extent of freedom here. So um, let's see what the Lenormand has to say for you as an event that you should either look forward to or try to avoid. I swear if we have the letter again, oh my god. Alright, so the first card here is going to be the male, the gentleman. So we are talking about a man here with the coffin with the clouds. Hmm. I need one more card. That will be the dog. So uh, this is going to be most likely a uh, an end of a friendship here. So thank God it is not about a relationship. All right, this is an ending of a friendship, and that ending will come from um, that man. So a a male is ending vaguely a friendship, right? So vaguely, and under vaguely I mean that they will not give you any reason behind it. It's just they will say, okay, I'm done here. And probably uh, they may also accuse you into something, who knows? But the, the bottom line here, guys, is, is that you may realize or you may find out that a good friend of yours it is not as good as they seem to be and they will uncover themselves in front of you and we can see that here in the tarot as you have changed your priorities so that could be someone that you are spending quite a bit of quality time with them you know um, seeing each other every then every now and then and now you kind of like uh, be uh, more devoted to your job they ask you a couple of times to go out you always postpone that proposition and finally they tell you that they hate you for example or that you are not worth it and etc etc you know that kind of a hostility should i say that uh, you did not expect it but that is their true nature at least you will know that you have find out about their true nature so, uh, that being said, Capricorns, this was your weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for September 3rd to September 9th, 2018. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And again, in case you are interested in a personal reading with me, uh, all that you need to know is my website listed down below in the description of this video. And uh, there you will find the full list of my services as well as their pricings. That being said, Rat signing out now. See you next time. Bye.